Hello beautiful and welcome to today's video. In today's video we're going to talk about favorites that I tried this year. So let's get into it. So I don't think <laughs> it's a surprise uh, when I'm saying that I have reviewed and I have tried a lot of things this year. A lot of things and uh, I never came back to tell you which one I prefer on top of the other one and things like that. So I thought today I should come and just tell you my opinion if they, my opinion change or which one I think it's the best release so far from the products that I tried this year. So let's start with primers. I tried a bunch of primers this year, but this year, but uh, I would say like one of the primers that I really did enjoy is this one from Milk. This is the Hydro Grip. We're not going to put this one on today. And why? Because let's look into my little bag over here that I put a bunch of stuff in. But the one that I actually like the most, it is this one right here. And this one is from Super Goop. This is the Unseen Sunscreen. I like it because it does um, makes my pore a little bit smaller, but not only that, it's easier for my foundation to stick to. And I really do like the factor that it has sunscreen added to it. So this is the one that I prefer the most, the, the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen. And this one has broad spectrum SPF 40. I do not add a lot, just a tiny little bit, and I prefer it when I add it with a little bit of brush. So I'm gonna do that. I don't think it's a surprise for anybody, or maybe it is. It might be. If you're new here, you, you may not know, but I am Romanian and I moved to United States at the end of 2014, on 27, this, on 27 of December of 2014, and it's been the biggest change of my life, the craziest change of my life. But one thing that I wanted to say is that in Romanian, we have a lot of crazy says, like a lot of them, a lot of them. Like uh, some of them will talk about green uh, horses that fly up on the on the walls and uh, some talks about pigs that do fly and stuff like that and I want to introduce that into my video so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put a Romanian say and I'm gonna say it in Romanian and explain it at the end of every video from now on so if you're curious or interested to see each the, the, not the words, but like the phrase of the day in Romanian, make sure you watch it until the end of the video to see which one it is. I think that will be something fun to have at the end of each video and bring a little bit of the culture, some of, some things from my culture and put it in, into my videos. Now for foundation, that was a hard one because I loved two or three foundations. I mean, I liked a lot of them. Don't get me wrong. I really like a lot of them. But the two foundations that I would have to say I like the most are these two. This is Fenty Beauty and this is the Eavesdrop. I really love this thing. This is so, so pretty. For those really natural, but also with coverage, but also moisturizing, it's such a pretty thing. But this little thing from Huda Beauty, I love, I love this one. What is, what is, what is the Fenty Beauty has on top of this one? This one actually, uh, has a long wearing, uh, attached to it. This one does not. This one only lasts on me for like five hours, five, five, six hours. That's the mark, but it's incredibly beautiful. Those six, seven hours, those five, six hours. And it's insane how gorgeous it looks on my face. So I would apply this one today. So I'm gonna go and just draw a bunch of things on my face. And on top of the everything else, I feel like this one 
it's the one that I can apply the fastest. The fastest one is definitely this one. So I'm going to just put it with a little bit of brush and just push it in. And uh, voila, we'll be done in a second. All right, look at that finish. Isn't that absolutely beautiful? I love this foundation. It looks so seamlessly. It looks very natural. It looks like your skin, but also covers a lot. It covers a lot, and I love the natural finish that it has. Now, for concealers, concealers, this is, again, a tough one because I have three favorites. So I have this one, which is from Charlotte Tilbury, this is the Magic Vanish one. I've used it so much that I actually do have a big pan in there. So you can imagine I really do like this. It's a really beautiful, beautiful product to add under your eyes. It works with almost every powder, not with every single one of them, but almost every powder and it's beautiful. But we're not gonna apply this one because I have two more that I want to talk about. This is the Fenty Beauty one, which you already know that I do like. And this is the Bright Fix one that I have in Deep Water 007. Super beautiful. I mean, 07, not 007. It, we're not James Bond over here. But this is really beautiful and really nice, actually. It covers more than I was expecting. Um, and I really do enjoy it. But... The one that we're going to apply today is going to be this one. This is a really big surprise for me because this is Neutrogena and this one is the Radiant Cream Concealer and it has peptides and antioxidants. So not only you're wearing uh, something that covers the dark area, but also you treat that area. So and also it's from the drugstore, you know, and it's really good. And it has a really good price as well. So that's why I'm deciding to go with this one today. I always apply concealer right in this area right here. Because I feel like in this area when I do that, it gives my eyes and it gives my face a little bit more luminosity. And my eyes look a little bit more awake. Alright, now for my under eye uh, powder. This has been a little bit difficult one because I tried one from Fenty that I like. I tried one from Huda that I like. But one that kind of surprised me so, so, so much. It is this one from Lawless Beauty. This is Seal the Deal Loose Setting Powder. And when I did apply this one, it set my under eyes for the entire phrase with that, uh, with, for the entire day without cracking too much. And I do have wrinkly under eyes, so this actually set it in place. And it just looked freaking amazing all day long. And I really do want to do that again and see if it's going to work well with this uh, concealer underneath it. Because I tried it with a different concealer and it did not work as well. I tried it with the one from Charlotte Tilbury. But I think this might work really well with this one. So let's try it. And I have mine in translucent. This is really finely mailed. And look at this. I'm just gonna tap, tap, tap. Right here. Really pretty, right? Such a beautiful, beautiful powder. I'm going to let it set over there, but it's extremely gorgeous and I'm really happy to uh, try it. I think this is definitely a really nice powder to set your under eyes. You're going to see at the end how it looks like. But now moving on to an overall face powder. Now, actually, we're going to do uh, sculpting. We're going to do sculpting. So what we're going to do... So next in here, we're going to go with the Light Medium Soft Sculpt Shaping Stick from um, Makeup by Mario. This is a new Wish product, so I haven't had a chance to try it that much. But what I was able to try, I really did enjoy. So why I'm going down here, because I've seen some interesting uh, videos 
lately that they say if you do this you're gonna your face is gonna look even more sculpted so let's be honest i don't have the most uh, skinniest face so i'm gonna try whatever it takes to make it look skinnier <laughs> but yeah let's just do that and see how it's gonna go i'm gonna go with a sponge this time I did have some problems with the packaging and the fact that it's getting a little bit dirty. But if you want to see more about that, here's the uh, video that I did to review it. All right, now that we're sculpted for days, uh, let's do powder. Let's do face powder. And I have two really interesting ones, these ones. So I have the number seven Lift and Luminate Triple Action Powder, which it's really beautiful. I mean, this is gorgeous. And then I have Kosas, which Kosas is interesting. It's kind of like, it, it's looking really nice at the beginning then in the during the day if you're sweating a little bit it shows like really ugly on the face and then when you dry out when you just like your skin comes down and you like cooling off your face looks again beautiful so it's an interesting product but because of the amount of like beautiful uh blurring effect that it has I'm gonna go with this one today and we'll see if it's gonna look as amazing as it used to when I first tried it. This is a very, very soft blurring powder. So look at that, look how beautiful it looks. Right now, it's just, it's such a beautiful, beautiful powder when you put it on for the first time. And I'm not sure if it was just that day, but I feel like it's a little bit iffy, this powder. Uh, it looks amazing when you first put it on, but then the way it wears down, maybe if you don't sweat at all, then it's gonna look good. <laughs> beautiful. Now let's move on, let's move on, let's keep this rolling, you know. I love it when we have a really good, beautiful uh, makeup day. Uh, next in here, let's play with some bronzers. I have two bronzers in here that I really, really liked. And this is the glowish one that I have in tan light. And then also this one from Kiko Milano in uh, Perfect Sienna. I actually like this one more. And I like this one more, why? Because this one actually shows on my face a little bit more than um, than the glowish one. And I really love how this smells. Oh, so good, it's so good. Let's put in some more. We're gonna be a crazy bronze today. How is the market, the, the housing market in your area? Because let me tell you, here it's bananas, bananas. Um, and we get calls from a lot of freaking realtors trying to convince us to sell our house. And even my realtor that helped me get this house gave me a call and asked me if I wanna sell and stuff like that. That is insane. No, I'm not interested in selling guys no i'm not i i and my house definitely has grown like um the equity right but i'm not interested in selling is it as crazy over there as it is here it's crazy it's crazy all right so i really love this one such a beautiful color so pretty works so good with my skin tone smells delicious it just melts onto your skin beautiful 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 is only 20 bucks all right well the blush the blush that i'm gonna go with 
is it a surprise i don't think it's a surprise but it's going to be the pat mcgrath one this is newish i was upset with this one and i'm still kind of upset because it's not orange okay it's not orange it was presented as orange but it's not orange so um i'm just gonna add this today and i'm gonna add it uh not a lot like i did last time <laughs> i'm gonna try to add a little bit less but this is in electric broom and this is how it looks like all right let's do a little bit of this now for brows definitely the one that i like the most i've tried a few things this year but the one that i like the most is this thing from tarte and i only have a sample but this is this thing right here, the Big Ego Long Wear and Waterproof Framework Brow Pomade, which is really, really nice. And it helps me um, fill in the big gaps that I have in my brows really nice and super quick. Colors are not necessarily my thing, but something that I did try this year because I have not purchased, I don't think I purchased any highlighters by myself. But I got this in a um, mystery box from, I got this from Lucky Bag this year from Beautylish. And this is the Wuma Notting Hill Highlighter. And this is how it looks like. So I'm going to add a little bit of this. Because this one is actually pretty and it's not, it's not actually uh, emphasizing any of my texture which I do have a lot of texture and it's not too crazy either. So I like that. There we go. Now for the eyeshadows, I am going to have a special video for eyeshadows. We're going to talk about every single one of them. I'm going to put them on each place. You're going to see that video is coming uh, real soon. But today the eyeshadow that I do want to play with is going to be this one because this is a new one this is from Nomad Cosmetics and this one is not going to be in that video those are going to be eyeshadow palettes that I've tried before this one and uh, I'm just going to speed through this I'm just going to show you how I going to create a beautiful eye look which I never know which way I'm going to go which direction I'm going to go but this is the eyeshadow palette that we're going to play with So I went ahead and added my liner that I like the most. It's this one from Tarte, the Men Eater one. It's really easy for me to um, utilize and make a streak-free eye, uh, eyeliner. I really do like this one. Next one in here is this one, the mascara that I like the most that I tried this year. is this one from... Uh, makeup geek extension effect mascara i really do like it it has curl it has lengthening it has volume not extreme length but it has some volume and it has some curl as well so this is how it looks this is how everything turned out to be now for lips i have not tried anything new this year um that i purchased i uh, said from the beginning of the year that i try not to purchase any new lipsticks um because um, i have way too many but i'm gonna just go with one of my pat mcgrath lipsticks because i've been reaching for these a lot and i really do enjoy them so i'm gonna go with 1995 lipstick from pat mcgrath absolutely beautiful and it stays on your lips forever so this is how the look turned out to be. I really do enjoy all these products. I hope this video kind of helped you a little bit of like 
understanding what product would you want to grab and how they're going to work with your skin tone or with your skin problems and things like that. I really do enjoy all these products. I think they're phenomenal and they are my favorites for this so far in the year. We're going to have much more things to uh, check and discover the rest of the year, but this is it. Mid-year 2021, these are my favorites. Okay, now are you ready? Are you ready to hear the phrase of the day? The Romanian phrase of the day. Face cum îl taie capul. So the phrase of the day, it is face cum îl taie capul. Which means, in translation in English, is he's doing... Uh, how his head is cutting, I guess. Yeah, that's how it'd be. So basically, he, uh, what it means, it means it's doing whatever the fuck they want. You know, she or he is doing the whatever the fuck that uh, he or she wants. <laughs> so basically, that's what it means. So there you go. This is what, uh, this is what it is. Um, there you go. This is the video for today. I hope that gave you a little bit of a smile on your face at the end. Let me know if you enjoyed that or not. And this is it. This is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. And I cannot wait to see you all next time with another video. Bye now. I'll face you. Face you.